Yo, what's up everyone? My name is Andrew Warren, and in today's video, we're going to be doing our daily transparency update as always. So if you're new here, that just includes me talking about either my gains or my losses for the portfolio for every single stock market day that I can make a video on. And with that, I just try to have some transparency with the things that are going on with my portfolio personally and the investment decisions that I've made in with my long-term investment in Tesla stock, as many of you know that are subscribed. Subscribers. I'm all in on Tesla stock. It's 100% of my portfolio, not only just in Robinhood, but even in my Roth IRA accounts as well with my bank and then also with Fidelity. So I'm 100% in on Tesla and I own no other stocks other than Tesla. So obviously this is a bold strategy, but I really have a lot of confidence in this investment decision. But anyways, of course, let's get right into this one. As always, please make sure to smash that like button if you do enjoy these videos. And as you can see from the portfolio, we did have a pretty big day for Tesla. Unfortunately, not as good as the after hours that we saw with the movement yesterday where we were at around like a plus 13% gain, but it's still up there. And especially considering that the rest of the market, both NASDAQ and VOO were in the red today, I'm still pretty thankful that we got an eight plus percent gain. And I actually mentioned this in yesterday's video that it was kind of unfortunate that we saw the surge in after hours because I knew it would likely end up with what we saw today where there was a lot of hype in after hours, a huge movement. But the fact that, like I said, we saw that movement in after hours instead of the normal market hours, that carries on until the next day and it basically has to maintain that percentage or grow even higher if you want it to stay at that same level as the movement that we saw in after hours. So for example, if we saw that 13% movement in the normal market hours for yesterday, then it would start a whole new number for the after hours. So we would have that 13% set in stone and then we would have a movement afterwards in the after hours. So let's just say for example like with yesterday we had that 13% gain in between the time frame of 9.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. which is the normal market hours. Well the good thing about that would be that we would have that gain and then it would kind of start a new percentage in the after hours which would then carry on over to what we saw with today. So that 13% would kind of lock in and then we would have a new change of percentage percentage, whether it's up or down for the after hours that would then carry on over today. So it's kind of unfortunate that we had this huge surge in after hours yesterday, just because of the fact that for that to lock in, it would have to basically maintain that percentage or grow even higher consistently throughout the rest of the normal market hours for the next day and maintain that until that 4 p.m. marker until it hits after hours again. And I actually mentioned this in my previous video yesterday, and it kind of turned out unfortunately where we didn't maintain that 13% gain. So we lost around 5% since that after hours movement. However, like I said, I'm still really satisfied with this 8% gain. Don't get me wrong at all. This is definitely a huge day and I don't want to take away from that, but I just kind of wanted to emphasize that point that I was talking about in yesterday's video where it actually does make a pretty big difference whether you see a surge in the normal market hours or the after hours because if it's in the normal market hours, then you kind of get that movement locked in after it hits that 4 p.m. marker and it basically starts a new percentage change once it gets into the after hours. So yesterday was just kind of one of those examples where you can see how those details matter where we lost a few percentage points today and like I said this was still a great day so as you can see we are at a value of $174,930.78 now that's a pretty big difference between yesterday where we were at like $188,000 so it's unfortunate because I don't think this is an all-time high for me anymore I think my all-time high is either like 100 well no now that I think about it yesterday was my all-time high previously it was like 176,000, but yesterday was like 188,000. So we have to hit that marker again. I think this stock will be going up, especially with these big dates upcoming on December 21st with the announcement of S&P 500 inclusion happening. So there's going to be a lot of funds likely buying Tesla stock. And then in addition to that, you have the S&P 500 inclusion, which is basically a mandatory buying. And then on top of those two things, you have retail investors buying as well because they're anticipating this big purchase happening. But back onto the portfolio value in the normal market hours, we had a plus 8.26% gain. That was plus $13,451.69. And then in the after hours, we had a minus 0.75% gain, which is at minus $1,328.31. And keep in mind, the after hours are currently closed right now, so the market is at a standstill. But in general, I honestly don't know what to expect tomorrow. I don't know if this minus 0.75% drop is actually going to last until the end of the day tomorrow. If the market ends up in the green, then I think we could actually have a pretty notable day for Tesla if we see NASDAQ and 
and VOO in the green. And speaking of VOO and NASDAQ, like I said earlier, we had a red day for both of these. So that could be another thing as well that we can kind of attribute to this drop from like 13% all the way down to this 8.26% gain. So we had the market in general not doing very well. Most of the tech stocks that you see on my watch list were in the red also, except for the one which was Adobe, which was at plus 1.52% for today. So in general, Tesla kind of did the opposite of the rest of the market. So I can understand why there was a little bit of a drop in the percentage with today's gain, because the rest of the market in general just wasn't doing very well. And we kind of see this common occurrence where even if a stock has great news, if the rest of the market is really far into the red or just in the red in general, then that affects that one as well, where we kind of see this general trend across the board. If we have a general red day in the stock market, then that kind of spreads a little bit of fear and uncertainty for those investors that may not have that long-term vision or for those that can easily change their opinions on a stock just based on the share price. And of course, many people would say that's not even investing, but it's something to definitely take into consideration because when there is a red day in the stock market pretty much across the board, then that even affects the stocks that may have good news like with Tesla today where we saw it decline a little bit. Even though it's still in the green today, it's just not as huge of a spike as we saw in the after hours yesterday. So anyways, that's still pretty good that Tesla did so well today, aside from both NASDAQ and VOO being in the red, and then also just simply a lot of these other tech stocks in the red as well. So this is definitely a big movement to be grateful for, even though it's not as crazy as that 13% gain that we got yesterday. Just to think that we got an 8% gain in one day is really nice, especially when you consider ones like VOO that average around a 10% gain annually. So for some stocks out there, it actually takes takes a pretty long time to even get anywhere near that 8% gain. So that just puts everything into perspective a little bit more there. So now that we've discussed a few of those points there, let's just check out the various movements for each time frame here. So for the past week, we have a plus 5.28% gain, which is plus $8,776.50. And then for the past month, we are at minus 0.68%, which is minus $1,205.53. For the past three months, we are currently at plus 12.78%, which is plus $19,820.77. And then for the past year, we are currently at plus 70.41%, which is plus $72,278.31. And then the same thing applies for the all-time chart as well, considering that I've been investing on Robinhood for under one year. And now that we've addressed this, I just want to add one more thing in here since this is a transparency update. I did make a small purchase on Tesla stock today. I may be making a separate video on that tomorrow, just discussing it a little bit further. And then also just talking about the Roth IRA a little bit. But this actually wasn't a purchase with Robinhood. I bought this over on Fidelity with my Roth IRA account. As I've mentioned in a few of my recent videos, I have been trying to max out my Roth IRA for this year. There's a $6,000 limit on that for my age range. So I have been trying to max that out. So I'll go ahead and throw up an image on the screen right here of a purchase that I made today. It was just a fractional share, but I'm just trying to throw in money whenever I have some just to make sure that I max this out. I want to max it out as soon as possible. So I'm just throwing in any amount of money that I get at any point in time so I can go ahead and max this out. And then once that's done, I can start worrying about paying off my taxes in April and things like that. So as you all can see from that image, I spent around $50. I think to be exact, it was like $50.27. That 27 cents was just randomly in there. So I just went ahead and put that into the fractional share as part of this $50 purchase. So I am just throwing in any extra amount of money that I have. And I'm also just currently working on selling some more of my personal things so I can go ahead and try to get this Roth IRA account maxed out for the year. And I almost forgot this part. I realized when I was editing this video, but just to check out the total return for Tesla, we've already checked out the total return for the actual portfolio, but that does include previous positions such as like how I sold Microsoft for a profit and Apple for a profit and things like that. So just to address Tesla specifically, we did have, like I said earlier, a 7.40% gain for today, which is plus $12,123.37. And then for the total return for Tesla, we are currently at plus 43.95%, which is plus $53,700. $706.10. And then as I always like to mention, this gain percentage was actually much higher previously. Just a few months ago, we were at around like 120% in gains. But the reason that has lowered is just because I've been buying so heavily in a Tesla recently.
recently and that does raise the gain percentage especially if I've made a really nice gain like how I said I made like a 120% gain once I start adding more to this position and buying more shares then that actually starts to lower that gain because it's just naturally going to take some time when you buy some shares for us to see that percentage increase with Tesla especially over the last couple of months just having a lot of volatility but in the long term we will likely see this gain percentage continue to grow but just keep in mind as I continue to add to my position that does lower the gain percentage a little bit but anyways I just wanted to share this quick little portfolio update with you all please make sure to smash that like button if you enjoyed this video and also feel free to check out Robinhood and Weeble in the description below if you sign up with my referral link you'll get some free stocks and especially with Weeble right now you can get three free stocks you get one free stock if you just sign up with my referral link and then after that you can deposit $100 into your account and you'll get two extra free stocks in addition to that one free stock already so three free stocks in total but the two additional ones are valued up to $1,600 so there's a lot more opportunity there so with that you all can get yourself some nice passive income if you haven't already signed up to Weeble and it also helps support the channel as well so I greatly appreciate that but anyways I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your week